Hi, it's Julie, and I am here today with kind of a, a process video of putting together a couple pages in my smash book. Um, I have the pink smash book, and I don't remember what the name of that one was technically called, but it was pink, and um, I had a major accident on my cover. Um, I tried to be all fancy with some sprayed um, paint and a doily and I glued things on and it didn't work and I had to pry it all off and just today I recoded it with some old ledger paper and this is actually um if I turn it this way um it's from 1902 and it's um you know legitimate antique uh, ledger paper so I thought I like ledger paper I'm gonna try and cover the book and I'm not done in the process of covering it but it's definitely looking better than it did a couple hours ago. Um, I chose to put, um, I think this was from Glitz. I had some big tags that I've had for a long time. Um, I choose Happy. The one underneath said Big Bra Be Brave, excuse me. Um, but I covered that up with a little label sticker and with the I choose Happy. And then I chose, um, one here. I chose a little birdie. Um, kind of chipboard button from Melody Ross GCD Studios, which maybe is maybe that's where those came from. I don't know. I don't have the package for that anymore. Um, but again, they were old. So anyway, I do have. I'll just share some of the pages I have. I don't have a lot of pages done, but um, my local scrapbook store, um, Our Impressions in Blue Earth, Minnesota, had just these cute little. Um, kind of like vellum stickers and I just put them on in different places and I just put some different um, friendship quotes on here because a lot of my pages in this book um, deal with some friends who have come visiting um, yeah it doesn't even say what kind I was hoping maybe on the bottom of this title page um, it would say what kind of book it was but it didn't um, but I added this. I got that from an Etsy store. Cute little vintage people, little kids. Um, these pages are from uh, when a friend from California came to visit. And um, one of my daughters was home, and we went to a uh, state park and saw a waterfall. And it was nice. I included um, a piece of a shopping bag. You know, I, I was just kind of starting and just kind of seeing... All right, what do I put in this book? Um, so I did that, I don't have any on that page. Um, I did use some of the uh, smash pads um, in this. Um, I'm gonna cover this up, I'm not fond of the dice, so I, this will eventually get covered. Um, I used some rub-ons. Um, stuff I want to remember. <laughs> Look how very close to the edge I got there. I think my my W and S actually go off just a little bit. <laughs> Surprisingly, they haven't fallen off yet. But um, anyway, you can tell I haven't added to that too often because it still has a uh, November 2012 on it, which I guess is not too long ago, but I thought that was pretty. Nobody sees the world quite like you do. Um, let's see. I'll find... I actually totally hate these pages, so I'll cover those up. Um, so one day, I was just kind of um, down here playing around on, on my dining room table, and I just had uh, some rub-ons. I just, you know, if some didn't come out, it didn't bother me. It was just going to be like background, and I stamped a little, and I added a little washi tape because it looked like the washi tape look that they already had on the page. Gonna rub on the camera. I just added some stamps, just something to do. I stamped there. Let's see. Just gonna go to a page that I have more on. Um, some of this I added to um, today, actually. Um, talk, this one, this, these two pages kind of deal with food, I guess, and talked about some of my favorites. Um, favorite ethnic food is Chinese. My daughters and I just went to. A China restaurant today. I'm gonna put all my fortunes that I get. Um, gonna put them 
all over these two pages. So too bad I hadn't been saving them because I could have already had a bunch. Um, our town does have a local little cafe, cottage cafe, and I put like a little milk ticket, little number, little chipboard house, and a picture of um, the table setting once when we were there. And I'll add to it when we go there more. Uh, my friend and my youngest daughter at a park. Um, this one, <laughs> McDonald's sweet tea. I love it. Look what I happen to have on my dining room table. Huh, it's a McDonald's sweet tea. I like it. I have to have it. I do have an obsession with it and I love it a lot. Um, this was just, I, I had long receipts and I just wrapped them over this, but I'll cover this page with something in the future. I need to back up a little bit. My daughter is um, filming, but I'm not quite sure what she's getting in the, ah, thread. <laughs> okay. These are the pages that I was working on, and excuse me, she's going to focus on the pages, not my head as I dive under the table and get everything I dropped. Oh, whoa, okay. Now, this um, page over here, I think this is one of the prettiest buildings um, in downtown Mankato, Minnesota. Um, drink Coca-Cola. I love Diet Coke. I've always loved Coca-Cola you know basically so I thought this building was so pretty because it's been painted like that and they just like recently re repainted it to look um, bright again and it's been like that forever so I like that it's one of my favorite buildings and then um, what I was going to work on today was um, this page about liking to go to antique stores and junk sales um, there's a junk bonanza they call it up near um, the Twin Cities, and I like to go there every um, fall. Um, they also have one in the spring, and I actually think it's next week, actually. But I always go on the one in the fall. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of make that page and make a mess while things don't go right. Okay, um, what I have on this page are actually pictures of um, a couple of local antique stores. This one is just a secondhand book store that's just crammed from floor to ceiling with books. And my kids and husband and I went there last year. Um, this was a place called Junk and Disorderly and it was a big antique kind of place. Anyway, we had fun there. So I'm going to just kind of put some things together of that. Ah, I'm all gluey. Okay. And I think I'm going to do that. Just kind of want to get, get it so. I'm going to glue this one on there. I just took a few pictures of some things that I thought were neat at the time. Okay, and then I had um, this manila tag that um, I, it's stamped on one side, but I'm just going to use one end. I think it's going to do it so it partly sticks out from the bottom. Okay. 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 Now if I can squeeze this in so I can still see my tag, which I had already, okay, I'll have to tuck it. I kind of pre-glued it down, which wasn't the smartest of things to do, but again, it's a smash book. Anything goes, right? I hope this isn't too boring of a video here, but okay. All right, and... I have a little uh, junk and disorderly sign there, so I'm going to put that on. Okay, I'll do that here. 
got just a few little scraps of this and that and the other thing here that I had been working on earlier. So I'm going to kind of add that to the bottom here just to add a little something. No, don't like that. And I'm thinking maybe I'll cut some pictures out of a book or something of something vintage that I like or include something um, from our house. Um, these little stickers that I'm using are um, they're geo stickers in a box, 30 sheets, 10 designs from a store called Typo in the Mall of America. And they have just the nicest little little stuff. Um, but it's almost like a washi tape. It's clear. So I mean it doesn't show a lot but this adds a little something here and there not a whole lot of something but it adds a little something um i don't know if i like no i like that color use something like something like that let's see i gotta get this closer to me to see what it's it's like the stickers are so fine that it's hard to see what they actually are. But they're cute. Okay. Just a little heart. Just a little heart. And again, it's going to be hard to see. But anyway, that's one of my pages today. Um, I get in these spurts where I'm really having fun with my smash journal and I want to make another one or buy another one, um, but I made one for my daughter, and um, the Easter Bunny brought my other daughter one, um, so let's just get re-excited about them again, and hopefully I can fill one up, and just kind of keep going, because this one actually does have quite a bit more room. Um, these are just some pretty houses um, in New Ulm, Minnesota, that I like these old Victorian style houses, and that town has just some gorgeous places. So anyway, just something that I'm going to keep working on. And thank you for watching today. And we're going to have to make this cover better. Hopefully it'll be better by the time I do another video. Thanks for watching.